complicated border. See how it's done. Okay, so this is just a quick little video of the major steps involved in installing this border, which consists of a pencil liner, a basket weave mosaic tile element, and then a chair rail on top of everything. The border ran throughout this bathroom, all the way around through the tub, and all the tile was polished, and it's all real marble. So the tricky part of this bathroom was actually this return wall. Because I mitered the whole wall. I took a, a little bit of did a little bit of prep work at the beginning. So it's a little easier to go around that outside corner. So if you're gonna do this, you need to prepare at least two or three days in advance so that you can install the tile as a the mosaic tile as a whole unit rather than individual pieces on a mesh. Okay, so I cemented the mosaic tile to a piece of curdy fabric. Uh, you don't have to use curdy, you can use any other kind of So the important thing here is that you do it at least two or three days before you need to pick it up and use it. If you do it the day before the tile, the thin set won't have, won't have had enough time to cure and set up and the tiles will come off the membrane. So to be able to uh, handle it successfully, you need to uh, set this up beforehand in at least two or three days so that the pin set can harden and the panel be can become a little more rigid. If you, if you pick this up the next day, the tiles just come off the membrane. So you need to prepare and set this up beforehand to be able to do it successfully. If you've done it correctly, then you can pick up this mosaic and, and cut it and fit it as if it was a single tile rather than a million individual pieces. Much easier to work with, especially when you go on mitering and going around these outside corners. just a little bit about this bathroom. I have a uh, time-lapse video of this bathroom uh, installing the uh, whole thing from the cutting board to the floor. So I'll put a link in the description to that video so if you like you can watch the whole bathroom going up. And this might seem obvious but anytime you're cutting and fitting tile around wall or whatever always test fit it to make sure that you cut it properly i know it sounds obvious but it's just you know something that you should do so that you don't get cement all over the place and then you find that it's not fitting properly and you have to take it off and make adjustments it's just easier to test fit it make sure that it fits properly and then once you know you're certain that it fits properly go ahead and cement it in So with the remainder of the Oscar Weave mosaic border, I just cemented them in without installing them on the membrane first. Just make sure you place them in, make sure everything's level, and that you set them properly, and then move on from there. So the last part of this border was the chair rail. So you want to really pay close attention and take careful measurements when you're going around these corners because you want to have a nice even line on that miter. You don't want it sticking out or uneven or open and closing. So you need to pay attention and spend a lot of time on the outside corner to get it exactly right. Make all the adjustments you need and then be careful not to move it once you're done. So that's it for this border and then I continue the thumb area uh, with the large format marble tile. All the tile, as I said, is, is all polished, so you want to be careful not to scratch it, and make sure you seal the whole marble, all, all the marble, 
before you grab it so you don't have any problems. So at the very end here of this video, I'm going to give you a shot of the completed bathroom before any of the cabinetry went in, but the floor and all the marble finished and grouted. watching and don't forget to subscribe